this is made by one piece. Yes, it's made of one tree. And we, we chopped it down and used this uh, chainsaw and uh, split it in two halves. Uh, and then we uh, stood in the winter. This, this tie uh, binding is made of uh, spruce, but uh, when we make the other skis, we use uh, birch. We can go up in uh, that house. This is an old museum uh, for uh, Ola Bjorland. Old he, museum? Yes, uh, Ola Bjorland. He was a man who, who went together with Roa Amundsen to the South Pole. Mm. In, uh, he was the first man on the South Pole. In, in 1912, I think. There was a race between a Norwegian group and an English group. Statue? Yes. That is Sondre Norheim. Sondre Norheim. Who, who invite, invited this heel binding. Who yeah. started to... That, so that, that is the father of uh, the, the ski. modern ski. Oh. Yeah. Because Sondre Norheim, he, he moved to, uh, to America mm. when he was old. Mm. Many people from Norway moved to America because it, it was too little food, uh, food here in Norway. It's too many people and little food. Oh, okay. And then I think many thousand people went to America. Oh. And there you see the name of uh, Ola Bjorlund. Okay, please enter. We have uh, the... Uh, here is the latest project we have tried to do. We, we tried to copy uh, the sledge they used on the expedition to the South Pole. So this is made of uh, ash, mm -hmm. and they had used dogs. Oh. Mm. So it's a dog sled. Here is some ski that we have made. So this is the the typical ski that we made. Make I can find a nicer one. And then you see the sides, the same binding, and the uh, ashwood. Yeah. Ashwood is more strong. Here you see a, a earlier earlier type of the binding because they just have this type of binding in the early years just for the toe because it was much easier to take the ski on and off. Oh. Maybe if they met a wild animal or something mm -hmm. they, they just could step out of the ski and turn around much easier than have to turn the skis around. This binding we make make it now in this year, this uh, season of the year, because it's easiest to, to twitch, to, to make this binding of the birch, now in the summer. And then we just uh, make a rounding of it and put it away. And we have, then later we uh, put it in hot water, and then it becomes soft again, oh. and we put it on the ski. And every ski maker have their own shape on the tip of the ski. So this is our, shape. Mm -hmm. People can see that, oh, I see this is uh, made of Tariya because oh. he has this shape. So and here is some, uh, yeah, here is some picture of how making ski with uh, just an X. Mm. So we start, start with a, a whole uh, tree log. Yeah? This is a uh, pine. And then we use this uh, keams mm -hmm. yeah, to split. The tree, the log in two, mm. and then we, after we split it in in four. It's important that it's uh, uh, stripes is this way in the ski. I can can, can show you. on the skis you have this uh, this stripe here. Mm. So uh, it's for steering mm. that the ski is going straight. Mm. But uh, if you have if you have the, the wood like this, that the stripe is going that way, then all the stripes is for steering. Uh, and here you see, <coughs> when you make this binding, we, we put it together like this in the summer, mm. and then uh, in the winter when you need it on the skis, you put it in water, hot mm. water, and then it will be soft again. And in here we are making the skis. Wow. <laughs> I, I found something today. This is for making these bindings. This is the first step, yes. And then you have to hold it fast here and you start in the top of the brush and just turn it around. Mm -hmm. And then you take it together like this. Okay. And when you, when you do it in the summer, this, uh, what do you call this in English? This bark? Or no? Yes, it loosens in the summer because it's so wet. 
So this is an important job for the ski maker to make because th this is the, the weakest part of the ski we mm. is this binding. Mm. But I think uh, ski making was a winter job yes. because every ski maker was a farmer too. Mm. So oh, okay. in the summer they have m much work on the farm. Mm. So they don't have time to make ski in the summer. Mm. So that's th that's the reason that they make this in the summer and mm. put it away to the winter. So when they come from the from the forest with a plank, it looks almost like this. I started with the X on this, but and then they use a, a they laid on a form and use a pencil to to make the shape of the ski. And then the work started with a with the X. So it's just Try to get to as close as to as to the end. This shape, yes. you have to make another line to make this uh, thickness of the ski. Mm -hmm. Because the ski is thickest on the middle mm -hmm. and it's uh, narrower to the front and X to make this shape too. Thinner. Yeah. And then they have make it uh, less thick. I think it's because it's more flexible mm -hmm. and uh, less weight. When you hold the ski uh, where the binding is, the ski is going to tip a bit forward. If you see old picture of uh, ski jumpers in Norway, the the style was to that the ski was following the the hill downward. That was the finest ski jumping. And the second step is to uh, then they put it on this. How long you have been making this piece? Bench. I have been making it in. Uh, I think this is the sixth year. No, since 2006. And then it's making it nice with this. I have learned it from an old man who lives in Kevin Miguel. And he had made uh, wooden skis for. 50 years maybe. No, some other have to learn it from him. Mm, to pass the technique. The knowledge and the yeah. So this is pine. Thanks this is me. ash wood, I think. It's harder and I think it's, it's what do you call, smoother. You smoother? go faster oh. yeah. when you are skiing. Oh. It's, it's a faster ski to ski on. When they uh, when they started the competition in um, ski jumping in Oslo. They made this um, ski jump and uh, uh, the hill was trampled hard. So when they landed on uh, this uh, with this pine ski, yes. they, they broke oh, the skis. Not that. And then they started to use ash wood. They make a, use a, a type of drill like yes. this one and, and make the hole in the middle. I, I think they used this in the Viking age. This is a very old type of uh, tool. Ooh. It's a it's a it's a law in Norway that everyone is allowed to go in in all the forest yes. to lie in a tent and make fires and yes. uh, you can you can see here we have okay. one is coming that way and the other is coming that way. And then you take it together, oh. the both sides. Oh, okay. These tools is from uh, an old ski maker who uh, made skis in Morgedal in uh, for 50, 60 years ago. But he 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 was to, he had a visit from the um, in Norway called it the tax man, the, the man who come oh. to collect taxes, or uh -huh. huh? and he wa want he didn't want to pay. So oh. then he stopped making ski. This machine, this bandsaw and some is from his place. Most of the skis we have made have been sold to foreign countries. Mm -hmm. We have sent the skis to Australia and oh. Italy and mm -hmm. United States. Some years ago it was a ski competition in Australia. Mm -hmm. And they want us, wanted the, our ski as their first prize. Are there a, any advantage of the wooden ski? When the snow is loose, 
when you're going off piste. Uh -huh. They are good. Mm -hmm. Because they are, I think it's more soft. Mm -hmm. Some people like to use the wood ski in the, when they run off piste. Here is a ski that is laminated. And on the sides they use hickory. Mm -hmm. It's a hardwood. Because the modern ski have steel on the edges. So the edges is much stronger. Here we see another type of ski. And they also use this hardwood on the edges. It's, it's more easy to turn around in a hard slope. When you are finished with the axe, you have to, to make this shape. Um. And then you, you can put it on, a, you see a picture here, you have water that is boiling mm. and then you have to have the ski heat it up, heat it up and steam it mm. and you have it in this this shape oh, so, so you can yeah, yeah you press the ski and bend it mm. and then it have to lay there in uh, for 24 hours maybe oh. mm. yes we can use anyone but uh, uh, as uh, not many branches you don't like these branches. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it can be harder, yeah. but uh, maybe it's dry and then it's mm -hmm. it fell out. Uh -huh. When we when I when I made uh, these uh, boats, yes. we wanted uh, these nuts mm -hmm. because uh, if the if the plank was uh, uh, became open, it broke open, mm -hmm. like it splintered. Um. Then it stopped when it come to a nut. If you not have a knot, it was splinted all the way, cracking down to the spot and then it stopped there. And it's important that uh, when you split the log, mm. it, the split is going straight. Mm. Because all tree uh, are starting to turn around mm. when they grow in the forest. Mm. So if you take an old tree, mm. it may be, and you split it, then uh, it, the split is maybe going like a propel. Mm -hmm. Uh, not going straight and then you can't get nice skis. Oh. So all the material we use to make ski is uh, dried out for uh, at least a year. But uh, still it maybe has some tension in it. So when you start uh, building the skis it may be twist some way. <laughs> so here is a more modern uh, way to make ski. Okay. So. So we, we take the ski from the banzo and then we put it on this form. And when we have steamed the ski, we put it in here and bend it over. So it's like this. So they you they they have to, uh, to do this every winter. The car we have is a, it's a long, long but not uh, very steep. Uh -huh. <laughs> because when you use it uh, off-piste in this soft snow, mm -hmm. then uh, if the tip was too high, mm -hmm. it just break the ski because then it's stopped in the snow. But when it's uh, a long bend, mm -hmm. it's float up on the, on the snow. When you have bent the ski, and you put it together, you, you take a piece of wood in here, so, it, so the tip is going forth, so the tip is not going together again. And some people say that when they was going up hills, when they didn't go on the ski, they, it was easy to take the ski off uh, when they put the finger here and just drag the ski. Now we have to see how we make wooden ski in Norway.